welcome back to our channel. Today it is just me. Um, hope you guys are okay with that. So long story short, um, Denver started a new job today. So if you guys couldn't tell, he was not working at the post office anymore. He was in between jobs and so he started a new job today. So thank God for that because we've been praying about him getting this job and shout out to my cousin Joe. He hooked him up and I'm just so thankful for him and just like God's provision over our life and all this stuff because we've been struggling baby but we have been posting and i feel like it was just a blessing in disguise anyways he's back at work today so i just got home from school and ace is at daycare and i am about to go to the gym because i have till 2 30 it's 12 30 i have till 2 30 till i gotta go get her and i'm like what do i do i need to have some discipline i need to go to the gym I'm here I don't want to be here if you couldn't tell second off I don't want to be the weird girl in the gym with the camera but I'm doing it you know sometimes life is about getting out of your comfort zone so I'm doing it today I'm doing it hey guys so a minute ago whenever I was like hey I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone I'm gonna film at the gym er, wrong I went out there one person looked at me and my camera and I I aborted the mission I couldn't do it I got nervous I'm in the sauna by myself. That's why I'm talking right now. I'm trying to decide if I should. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Vlogging in public is awkward. Denver, he's great at it. He could literally sit the camera down and like freaking do jujitsu. Like, he, he does not care what people think. I care. And I'm awkward. So. All right, you guys. So I am now leaving the gym. Um, And you know what I hate? Every time I leave the gym, I'm like, ugh. Such a good workout. Let's go eat. Why? Why am I like that? Okay, people, we are now at Ross, Dress for Less, which as I'm saying that, I'm like, why am I here for home decor? I'm trying to find home decor, people. Ooh, I'm trying to... Oh my gosh, I thought that was a man. <laughs> I just locked my door, I got scared. I thought that was some guy. Oh, that made me paranoid. I literally, my mom texted me today and said one of my family members, this guy tried to steal her car today. She ran him over, she backed him over and broke his like thigh or something. I, I can't make that up. So when I saw that girl, I was like, <gasps> And I locked my door really fast. That was good reaction time. Anyways, I'm at Ross getting stuff for my house because I have the space in my house that I need to fill up and it's driving me nuts and I'm hoping that I can find a good deal here. I don't know if they have home decor, but we're gonna see. So they have house decor, but it's kind of ugly. So probably a no. Like, I just don't know about this, you know? Like in my living room. Bro, not to toot my own kid's horn, but if anyone is looking for a future Picasso, let me know. Am I right? I mean, seriously. Hello. Yo. What's up? What's up, papi? When are you gonna be home? I got I'm breaking up with you. Well. Divorce! I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Houston, we have a problem. Me and Ace are trying to get in our house, and there is a huge wasp right, right there, right on the door. This is just our luck. Like this is. Look at this thing. This is the door. This is the wasp. What did you say you want to do today? I want to go to the beach. You want to go to the beach? Yeah. Do you understand that we live in Oklahoma and there's no beach here? But we, we have to go get our swimsuits. We have to go get our what? Swimsuits on. Our swimsuits? Yeah. Guys, how do you say no? We can't go to the beach, baby. There's no beach here. But we have 
to go drive at the beach. We have to drive to the beach? That's like so many hours away. See that fight? Was that wasp scary? We'll go to the beach another day, okay? After there's no wasp. What? After there's no wasp? Yeah. Oh, that wasp is right there. Yeah. Oh, yucky. Yeah, we had to run inside so fast like freaking monsters. Look at this thing. Was that scary, baby? Yeah. Do you want to show the vlog your new shoes? Yeah. Show them. Oh, my goodness. I can jump you. Whoa, you can jump. Show me. Whoa. Daddy's home, Ace. Yeah. Go see Daddy. Come on. Let's not tell him about the wasp and see what he does. Look at that little puppy over there. He has no idea that there's probably a wasp outside ready to get him right now as we speak. Let's see if he gets stung. Look at him in his little short. Oh, oh, oh. Do it again, boo. Well, I don't want to make a secret. Ah. Mom, I don't want to make a secret. You don't want to, okay, tell daddy now that he's already inside. What? You got to get away from the door so you don't get stung. Hello. Tell him, Ace. You better hurry and get in because there's a wasp outside. Oh, Dimmer, why did you get fired from your last job? <laughs> I got fired for safety reasons for not wearing a seatbelt. Guys, wear your freaking Burn! Belt. Denver, are you shook about losing your first job? You know, I was pretty shook to begin with, but somehow God has made a way and now here I am with another job. Facts. Denver, are you a loser? <laughs> no. Guys, seriously, God really helped us out because now Denver has a new job and everything's going to be fine and we going to make it. But he did lose his first job. So explain why you did lose your job. So I lost. It's not funny. We just laugh because we're idiots. I was a mailman and I got caught by safety who rolls around in vehicles that look like ours so you don't know when they're coming and I was not wearing a seatbelt in my mail vehicle. I would not have lost my job had two months prior I had, <laughs> had a previous safety infraction for distracted He driving. wrecked the mail truck. I got stuck on a curb. It was raining. I got stuck in a piece of grass. Just a small little You know, the usual. I technically didn't lose my job. I'm just on leave without pay. Probably not going to get my so job back. So you lost your job. <laughs> But you know what guys, everything happens for a reason. If you're watching this and you've lost a job before, or you currently are going through what I just went through and don't have a job, really just pray about it and everything will be fine. Uh, me and Brooke just got married. So the worst, one of the worst things that can happen for a recently married couple is for the husband to lose his job. And I lost it one week after we said I do. <laughs> Literally. And it's only been about three, four weeks without me having a job. So all of our bills are still getting paid. You have kids you know that our daycare costs more than rent so um we had overpaid for daycare for about the past year now and accrued a balance of like seven hundred dollars uh, so basically we didn't have to pay for daycare yeah so basically we found out that we were seven hundred dollars positive in our in our account for aces daycare so that's like two months free of daycare so we didn't have to pay for daycare and my last paycheck for the post office was double what, I, what it was supposed to be. I don't know how. Like, these are just things that happen. Uh, it's just God taking care of us. In yeah, our and you know, I said prayer earlier. Like, that's obviously, like, the first step you need to do. You need to get on your knees right now and pray to God that He's going to work something out for you and your family financially. But we also tithed. Like, I, whatever 10%. money I had coming in, left over, I was giving God 10%. I, I tithed at the church. And the, with those two things, literally, we haven't had to worry about a thing for the last month of me being off work. We been I. Anyways, you guys, we just wanted to open up to you guys about that because we have kind of been not hiding it, but keeping it well, to ourselves. We really weren't. We were debating on sharing that information because that is very intimate information. Um, and that's something that we're literally going through right now. Like, it's not something we've, like, triumphed over. Like, we literally, he just got a new job. So... It's kind of like scary to talk about that with people. Um, anyway, so we just wanted to share that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, 
another news we are going to be posting only on Monday and Fridays now because I'm in school. Denver has a job. It's not easy to post three times a week, especially when you're a full-time student, a full-time worker, um, have a daughter. So yeah, Monday and Fridays, keep a lookout for our videos. We love you guys. Peace.